Greetings to all professors, associate professors, lecturers, and my fellow peers. My name is Heyman Franklin, and my metric number is A180116. Ladies and gentlemen, the air we breathe in is not 100% clean. In fact, we are aware about the scenario. In recent years, the COVID-19 pandemic has raised questions regarding the transmission routes of the SARS-CoV-2 virus into a human's respiratory system. Interestingly, the tiny size of the virus makes it possible to be attached to fine solid aerosol found in the air that we breathe in. With this in mind, a study entitled Particulate Matter PM2.5 as a potential SARS-CoV-2 carrier had been carried out to provide us with a clear view on how air quality is affected during a global pandemic. It is suggested that suspended tiny dust in the air could couple with microorganisms of diameter with less than 5 micrometers during aerosolization. Since the diameter of the SARS-CoV-2 virus is approximately 70 to 90 nanometers, it is possible that the virus being attached to a particulate matter with a diameter of 2.5 micrometers or below. Therefore, it is hypothesized that the PM2.5 plays a possible role as a carrier for the SARS-CoV-2 virus to remain in the air. To prove the hypothesis comes our study's objective, which is to investigate the PM2.5 burden and SARS-CoV-2 from several wards with COVID-19 patients in Hospital Chancellor Tuanku Muhris, Kuala Lumpur. During the study, four hospital wards, namely Single Room Ward A, General Ward B, General Ward C, and General Ward D had been utilized for the purpose of sampling. Airbox Sense, a low-cost air quality sensor, is used to continuously monitor the concentration of PM2.5 in the four wards. A low volume sampler or LVS is used to determine the virus loading in PM2.5 trapped on filter papers. Viral nucleic acid extraction kit 2 is used to extract the viral nucleic acid trapped on the filter papers. Last but not least, reverse transcription Quantitative real-time polymerase chain reaction or RTQ-PCR analysis is carried out to detect the SARS-CoV-2 viruses. From the study, the highest concentration of indoor PM2.5 was measured in General Ward B with a concentration of 23.27 microgram per meter cubic. This data was recorded on the 4th of April 2020, whereas the lowest concentration of indoor PM2.5 was measured in General Ward D with a concentration of 6.23 microgram per meter cubic. This data was recorded on the 22nd of April 2020. Positive results for SARS-CoV-2 genes were detected in the single room ward A and general ward B with 74 plus minus 117.1 copies of micron per liter and 10 plus minus 7.44 copies of micron per liter respectively. If we take a look at table 1, there is no air purifier placed in single room ward A. However, there are two air purifiers placed in General Ward B, but it is placed further away from the low volume sampler or LVS. In General Ward C and D, there are air purifiers placed and the results show no SARS-CoV-2 genes were detected. This, ladies and gentlemen, will provide us with a further finding which is of utmost importance to our health. From the results, the study suggests that increased virus particles due to viral shedding in a poorly ventilated environment might increase the virus PM2.5 assemblage. 
Viral shedding refers to the release of virus progeny following successful reproduction during a host cell infection. The degree of viral shedding from patients due to symptoms such as coughing, sneezing, and diarrhea has been reported in previous studies to influence the number of virus particles in the environment. This explanation makes sense, especially when the study shows no SARS-CoV-2 RNA were detected in general ward C and general ward D, where there's only one air purifier placed in the respective wards. In conclusion, the results of this study clearly indicated that SARS-CoV-2 RNA is present within sampling of ambient particles. Therefore, precaution against airborne transmission in indoor environment, which includes proper indoor ventilation, should be taken seriously for long-term health benefits. This study was supported by the UKM Special Fund for COVID-19, number COVID-2020-004. Ladies and gentlemen, let it be our goal to promote an environment with a clean and healthy air to breathe. Always remember, healthy air equals healthy lungs, and healthy lungs equal to a healthy life. Thank you for your time.